Welcome back to Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. We're going to try this again, not to car shopping, but uh, going to get the minivan from the shop. Dogman is on his way. Oh, that wasn't him. Uh, yeah, going to get the minivan from the shop. And then the plan is, and we all know how, you know, plans can change suddenly. But the plan is for me to head up to the new place. Uh, Drew is there doing something. Uh, we'll find out when we get there. And also a special visitor all the way from Alaska, Bill from Alaska, The Last Frontier. He is in Arkansas for a few days and he is stopping by. Uh, so that'll be great to see him again. I met him at the Oklahoma meetup earlier this year. And uh, so yeah, that is the plan that I'll be going up to the new property for the first time since I had all that shale delivered. And then Drew worked on it for a few hours after that. So I have not seen it yet. So I am anxious to get up there and uh, look at the progress on my new place and share with you. All right, dog man just uh, bailed me out again. Drop me off at Ed's. Go check out Wachita Mountain Living tonight. He recorded our conversation on the way to the shop. So, all right, I got my minivan. I gotta go pay for it. I am just going through Boonville. That means I'm like 10 minutes away from my new place. I have been up here in, what, two weeks, week and a half. And I was thinking on the way uh, driving up here, this is only the second time I've been able to come up to my new place since my birthday. And that was a month ago. So I've only been up here once in the past three, four weeks almost. And this will be my second time. Uh, yeah, the last time I was up here, I got six truckloads of shale delivered. Uh, Mike gave me a ride so I couldn't stay to watch Drew work on it. So I have not seen Drew's progress and I'm excited to see that. So yeah, all right, clip over.
right, we have a special guest all the way from Alaska. This is Bill. Your channel name is? Alaska's Last Frontier Homestead. He, he has my hat on. All right. And you're down in Arkansas for a few days. Yeah, came down going to Pinecone Fest this coming weekend in Texas. So I figured I'd spend the week in Arkansas, come and check out some of my friends' channels and stuff. Yeah, you were at the Oklahoma meetup uh, earlier this year. Yes. So we met in person there. Yep. That's where I got this hat. And uh, this is your first time in Arkansas, though. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah. it is. I love this state. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. The videos don't do it justice. And this is this is from a guy from Alaska, too. So, yeah, it, nothing compares to Alaska. <laughs> but it's uh, it's not the cornfields of Illinois. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, you're down here, and you wanted to see the new Bobblehead Homestead. Yeah. Uh, what do you think so far? I love it. I'm so excited to watch your journey creating it out of a wooded lot and turning it into a functioning homestead. Yeah, anything I'm doing here that you've already done before up at your place? Nothing that I have already done because I'm basically on the same path as you. Yeah. I, bought a, I bought a wooded lot and I'm turning it into a homestead myself. Unfortunately, up in Alaska, the construction season is a lot shorter. Yeah, that's and true. This year, I didn't get very much done because it just rained and rained and rained every day. So I fell a little bit behind my goals this summer, but yeah. hopefully next summer I can catch back up. It is what it is. You got to go with the flow sometimes. Uh, what are some of the big things you want to be doing coming up once the weather allows, which we can't <laughs> predict the weather. We don't know when. I'm looking to put in a big garden. Nice. Develop a big outdoor garden. And I have what's, a, gonna, what's it going to take for you to do a garden? Do you do you need to clear trees or anything? Or I I've decided I'm moving the, where I was going to put the garden to a new spot where it's going to be sunnier all summer long. So I need to take down one or two trees, and then I need to scrape all the uh, wooded lot weeds and everything off the top of it, and then. My property in that corner kind of slopes down a little bit, but I have this huge pile of dirt that I need to smooth out. So mm. I need to get that smoothed out, then that'll establish where the garden's gonna go. And then I need to just develop the garden from there. Yeah, there you go. Cool, so exciting progress. What kind of equipment are you working with up there? Well, I bought a Bobcat E50 excavator this, uh, this last winter. January, February, so I use that all the time. Yeah, and, and those are the little, they've got the backhoe part, yep. uh, the excavation part. They got a little like bulldozer blade on the front of them too. Yes, it does. Yeah. yeah. It's great for smoothing out the driveway and stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of useful things out of that. You, would, uh, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, you yeah, can you, get a ton done with those. Yeah, I, I actually helped the neighbor put in a new water line to his house because it kept freezing up. I helped another neighbor uh, change out his septic tank. I created a pad site for a garden for another neighbor. Yeah. So I've been doing a lot of work for neighbors, but... You get any barter in turn? <laughs> I mean, I hear people in Alaska, they pay in salmon or uh, elk or... Well, my one neighbor owes me two uh, a breeding pair of pigs, so... Yeah, that's, that's coming how you this do coming it. This next summer. All right. Pigs, gardens. Yeah, uh, I ho hopefully I have some uh, egg layers next uh, next spring. Yeah, got to get into chickens. And I would like to get some rabbits also. Oh, cool. And then after that, it's a big question mark. Yeah, how about your housing situation? I built a little cabin just off to the side because I want to build a barn dominium. I've always had a, a garage that you barely could get a pickup truck in and it just always frustrated me. So I want to build a barn dominium, a big man shed, basically. Yeah, a bigger that, garage yeah. than a area, a living area. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the garage is a little over double the living area. All right. So, so. you just built like a tiny cabin to get you there. Yes, some place to live in the winter time because it gets too cold to stay in a yeah. camper. See around here, people would use a camper or something like that. Right. But you're in Alaska, you got to have something more substantial. Yeah, at 40 below. It gets a little chilly in a camper after a few days. The heat, those heaters just don't cut it. Oh yeah. Are you, what kind of, are you doing any wood heat or propane or no, mixture? Uh, I bought what's called a Toyo stove. It's an oil drip. So it's basically diesel fuel, but they call it fuel oil. Interesting. And it's nice cause now 
I like to go, I have a remote cabin that's a hour north of where I'm at. And I like to go up there on the weekends and stuff. And I don't have to worry about having someone come over and feed the wood stove or anything like that. Oh yeah. So I can just set this oil uh, furnace and leave and it'll stay nice and Keep warm. Keep it above freezing. Yep. You don't have to worry about frozen pipes and all that. Which hey. I don't have running water yet in my cabin. I'm oh, still yeah. getting there. I, I wanted, that was a goal to have it this uh, fall but I'm pushing it off till the springtime. Oh, Just not yeah. enough time. And from what I hear, it's already snowing up there at my place. Oh no. They got flurries today. Yeah, so what, you're gonna drill a, a water well? I have the well. Okay. But right now I just have it coming out over the top so I can hook up a garden hose and get All water right. and stuff but like that. But you gotta build a well house and then run the water lines. Yeah. And... Well, the water line's in, I just don't have the infrastructure inside my cabin to deal with it. All right. So I gotta get that done before I can turn the water on. All right. Yeah, one thing at a time, you yep. get there. Yep, one thing at a time, that's for sure. All right, let me pick your brain. So I got the, we got the driveway behind me. Now we're putting yep. in this pad over here, uh, shed and an RV pad. Right. Do you see my vision back there? I love it. All right. I love it. You'll have a nice shed and uh, your friends from high school or other YouTube channels can come and park and hang out for a while, help yeah. you with your chickens. Pay me, uh, yeah, <laughs> buy my buy my chickens and stuff. Right. And then, yeah. And then you got a nice pad for uh, your shed to house that you're uh, gonna have. It's, I'm excited to see what you do here. All right, anything I'm doing here, you're gonna steal my ideas? <laughs> Probably the chickens. Yeah, the chickens. The chickens. There we I, go. Unfortunately, I, I can't have the same chickens as you. They, they'd be uh, yeah. chicken cubes, chicken popsicles if I had those ones. Yeah. So I got to get Marans, some. Well, yeah, they got big combs. That would yeah. not be a good breed. Yeah, I got to get like the Icelandic. Exactly. Icelandics, like um, uh, Swedish breeds. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there are several breeds that are cold weather hardy. Right. Buckeyes. They were developed in Ohio. Those are, yeah. And I don't remember, but uh, yeah, anytime you got chicken questions, I'm your guy now. Definitely, definitely. All right, I'll go. Hit you up. Yeah, go check <laughs> out Bill at Alaska, the last frontier. Homestead. Alaska, the, uh, say that. Alaska's last frontier homestead. There you go. I'll put a link down in the description and uh, you're gonna be visiting some other YouTubers around here. So yes. you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe to his channel and see where he's gonna show up next here in Arkansas. I'm about 10 minutes away from home now and it's almost dark. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, 6.47. So I am just barely gonna make it home, home by dark to put the chickens to bed. Uh, productive day, yeah, I got the minivan back. Uh, made it up to the new place and got to see the progress that uh, Drew had made with all that shale. Um, and now I am ready. I am ready for sheds, plural, to be delivered. Uh, what he was working on today was for a storage shed. And what I'm hoping is when I get a storage shed, then I will also, uh, the company that delivers that, uh, get them to go over and get my shed to house. So yeah, maybe I can start getting that officially in the works, get my name down so they can uh, pencil me in when they've got a free day, weather permitting. Uh, yep, so we'll see about that. But first, I gotta do some uh, car shopping before I do some shed shopping. And so car shopping tomorrow, I've got a friend uh, who's gonna take me car shopping. And uh, yeah, we'll see what I come up with. I might have a different vehicle tomorrow. That'd be great. Uh, oh, yeah, on the minivan, uh, people suggesting, yeah, you should just keep it. Yeah, that's not an option. Uh, this minivan already has a new owner. It was supposed to go to its new owner yesterday. It was supposed to go to its new owner two weeks ago. But, yeah, the new owner was, uh, was determined quite a while ago before I even started having brake problems. So... Yeah, uh, keeping the minivan was not an option, and it's uh, it's not it doesn't have the cruise control which I need going back and forth to Russellville, and it bottoms out on that uh, that gravel lane going to my house. So minivan is just not a great option for me. 
uh, even if I could hang on to it, which is uh, not an option for me. So yeah, tomorrow I plan on going, well, I gotta get home tonight and start contacting people and see if anything's sold and uh, maybe something new popped up today I wanna go look at. I don't even know which direction we're headed tomorrow. Uh, right now, I'm thinking we're headed towards Little Rock, but uh, if not, we might be headed towards Fayetteville. I won't know, and yeah, yeah, these things are just up in the air and out of our control a lot of times. Uh, it's good to meet Bill uh, from Alaska today. Have a have a look at his channel. Uh, Dogman gave me a ride into town so I could uh, pick up this minivan, and it got me up to my new place. And yeah, so productive day. And uh, tomorrow, I hope is another productive day. Uh, I'm gonna be looking at. Well, I'll just, I'm gonna. We'll see. I don't know if they sold today or not. But my number one target is a 2005 Toyota Sequoia. Um, and because they last forever. And then my. Uh, and then there are two Chevy Suburbans I want to look at. If they were the same price as the Sequoia, the Suburbans would be at the top of my list. But they're asking more money for those Suburbans. So. Yeah, um, we'll see, we'll see. My my mind changes on my favorite vehicle every, you know, every every day. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for making all of this possible. And things should get moving now. Uh, it's out of my control, but I'm doing my best to get things moving now. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, everybody.